YouTube, what is up and welcome back to another video. So I want to talk about the best investments in the modern era under $50 because you can't really buy much with $50 that's vintage. So I want to talk about the best things to buy under $50 that is going to make money. And most of this is modern. If you think I'm telling you all of these things and then when you watch this video, they're going to shoot up 2x on what you bought it for. That's not the case. No. <laughs> I'm saying all of these products, if you buy them for under MSRP or at MSRP, you are going to make a lot of money down the line. You're a goddamn genius. That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard. You must have a goddamn IQ of 160. Do I know when that's going to happen? I don't. My point here is that I cannot tell the future. Some of these products haven't even released yet. So when you get these products on sale under MSRP or at MSRP, you are going to make a lot of money down the road. These are items to have in your collection that are going to be good investments in my opinion. So let's get into the video. Okay, so the first one is Crown Zenith tins. These three tins, the Articuno, Zapdos, it's the three legendary birds. And the reason why I say this is because what's inside of it? Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! It's Lothari! It's Crown Zenith, and I think we all know Crown Zenith already. Yes, I know some of you are going to say it's overprinted and things like that, but so much other past sets were overprinted. So keep that in mind with Crown Zenith. And I know it's boring to say Crown Zenith because you see it on the shelves and most of us are probably gonna look past it saying, oh, I'll buy it tomorrow, I'll buy it next year, buy it next whatever, right? Eventually, it's not gonna be on shelves anymore and eventually it is going to start to go up because here are the reasons why I think that this set is gonna go up in the future. If we look at the set right now, it's a phenomenal set. I don't wanna talk about too much about the set because I've talked about it so much times on the channel, but Crown Zenith is a phenomenal set. I think we all can agree how great Crown Zenith is. I wish the pull rates were a little bit harder, like how Hidden Fates is, keep that in mind. But I think these tins are going to be like Hidden Fates in a way. I don't think they're gonna be as expensive as Hidden Fates. If you had to buy Hidden Fates and Crown Zenith when it was MSRP, I would go with Hidden Fates just because the pull rates are harder. No, I still think that this is gonna be a great investment. I'm gonna collect these tins. I haven't bought much yet, but down the line, I am gonna buy them because they are on sale right now. And I do think that Crown Zenith is a great set to invest in and these tins are an easy pickup for me at least. Next product to buy under $50 is this Charizard EX Premium Collection Box. And the reason why I say this, and I think it's a no-brainer, is because of Charizard. Wow. We look at any Charizard product, they normally carry some sort of premium because it's Charizard. And I know what you're thinking, the Charizard QPC, I think that's gonna be a good investment down the line, but because it's overprinted and things like that, it's gonna take time to go up. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about this collection box. The packs in it are okay. I mean, it's all right, like. Not not my favorite packs. I just think sealed Charizard products, they're going to do well in the future because it just carries a higher premium and everyone loves Charizard and I just think it carries a higher premium. So that's why I think that this box is easy money. It's not gonna be the best place to allocate your money with the products we talked about in today's video, but I still think it's a great pickup if you pick it up for MSRP or below. Okay, so the third one is actually these packs right here, Lost Origin Packs. And the reason why I say Lost Origin Packs is because, again, same thing as Crown Zenith, phenomenal set. Yes, it is printed a lot, but with Lost Origin, I think it's a great set. Not because of the Garatina, I think because of the Aerodactyl, because of the Pikachu VMAX, because of so many other cards in this set that I love. I just look at past sets, and with Lost Origin, I just think it's common sense because we all should know that Pokemon products, if it's sealed, it tends to go up in value. I wanna be rich! <laughs> but if you look at a Sword and Shield era of Pokemon cards, Lost Origin is probably top three, maybe top five in the whole era of Pokemon cards. So just because it's printed a lot, for example, Evolutions was printed a lot and it's over $1,000 in Canadian prices. I think Lost Origin, give it time and I do think it will get expensive just because it's one of the best sets in Sword and Shield era. That being said, I think it's going to be a great investment down the line. I think any Lost Origin products will do well if they're sealed 
the reason why I say these sleeve the blister packs is because one, it's more safer to sell down the road because you can't really weigh it and you can't really mess with the packs inside of it. And it's also very cheap. And I just wanted to give you a very cheap option. Like, yes, you can find the three pack blisters right, for like $15. That's a good steal as well. For $5, I think you can buy a ton of them. And I do think that these Lost Origin packs are going to be at least $10 in the next three, five years, right? So to make 2x your return in three years is a pretty good return. So because I live in Canada, Pokemon 151 is pretty expensive still, but I'm gonna cheat. What did he say? Because in the States, it's under $50. In Canada, it's around $65, but in American currency, it is $48. Naughty, naughty, you're teasing me, you naughty, naughty. And I think for Pokemon 151, yes, I understand that this set is brand new. I understand that. I understand majority of these products in today's video are brand new. Pokemon 151, I think we all can agree again that Pokemon 151 is a phenomenal set. It reminds me of evolutions, you know, kinds of Pokemon, things like that. It's a very good set. And I do think long term, it will kind of be like evolutions. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree with me or not, because I think Pokemon 151, any sealed product is going to be a steel deal in the long run. When is it going to go up? I don't know. It just came out. So don't go FOMO out there and don't go buy every single Pokemon 151 product out there. You're going to have time. I hope so to pick up this set. And I just think long term, if you have it sealed, if you put it away in the closet, it's going to do well. Last one. And this is going to be conversational just because I know a lot of you are going to say, it's not even out yet. Yes. This Charizard tin is not out. This Peldean Fates tin, again, I think this set is probably better than Hidden Fates and 110% is better than Shiny Fates. All that being said, I think it is a great, great set. Even though we haven't really seen the whole entire set yet, we've kind of seen it in Shiny Treasures on the Japanese side. I think this set is going to look phenomenal in English. I think a lot of people are gonna like this set. I think long-term, this set will do well. Yes, the set is not even out yet, but I can go to my local card store and I can pre-order it for MSRP. The same thing with the Charizard box that I mentioned in earlier in this video. I think Charizard carries a premium, especially if it's sealed product. And I do think that it will do well in the future just because the tins, it reminds me of Hidden Fates. And those Hidden Fates tins are pretty expensive, even though they were overprinted. Same thing like the Crown Zenith tins. It's exactly the same thing. Two great sets. Charizard carries a premium. And the actual tin, it looks actually really, really good to have on your collection. So I think that's another thing to add on on why I like the Charizard. Charizard collection and tin. And that's the reason why I really like this Charizard Paldean Fates tin, just because it looks good on your display. I think Charizard carries a premium. It's going to be more expensive than the other Paldean Fates tins. And I think Paldean Fates is going to be a great set. It hasn't released yet, yes, but I do think if you buy it, put it in your closet, it's going to turn out good for you in the next three, five years. So let me know what your favorite product is. If you're still watching this video, comment eggplant emoji in the comments. That's so I know that I know that you're a real one. And if you're still here, leave a like, subscribe, and I appreciate everyone watching this video. I appreciate every single one of you subscribe to the channel. Almost at 2,000 subscribers, which is crazy, but we are aiming for 10K end of this year. So subscribe, leave a like, let me know your favorite product in today's video and I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.